championed today's guest over a year ago and his UK angels are growing by the day. Currently on tour with Justin Bieber, he's our favourite Australian export and this is his first UK TV interview. Please welcome Cody Simpson. Hey. Hello, how are, how are you? Good, thanks, how are you? Good, I'm very well, thank you. Now, we were the first ever UK music channel to play your videos last year, and they haven't come off the playlist since. Nice. So it's great to have you here for a thank chat. Thank you very how much. How are you? I'm great, thanks, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very, very great to be here. Nice talk talking to you today, yeah, Cody. Um, so let's take things back to the very beginning for people who are not aware of Cody Simpson. Okay. So you started to upload cover versions on YouTube yeah, and then was, you got a record deal. I was like 12 years old 12. Um, and uh, it was like maybe three or four years ago now and, and I uh, I just I did it for fun you know like I never had like a singing lesson or um, or anything of the kind I just I just did it because you know I like to play guitar and I like to sing and I had some songs that I like to cover so you know um, my first video was just like at school with a friend and um, it just kind of started um, snowballing from there and like I would do another cover and another cover it would get more views and more views and then you know eventually I was um, discovered and I, I went to the US and and uh, it's just been like a crazy journey ever since I think yeah. That is crazy for such a at such a young age mm -hmm. for that to happen to you but you're very driven so it's got yeah. you here today which yeah. is good. Now originally you're from Australia but you moved to LA so how yep. did that all come about? Um, well I was um, I moved to LA about two years ago and um, originally like I I, uh, I went like straight to New York on my mm -hmm. first trip, and I was like, I was just like infatuated with New York, and like, and then I discovered LA, and I found it, you know, be similar a little bit to where I'm from with the beach and, yeah. and all that. So, um, and, and my, uh, it was a hard decision because I, I have, you know, a brother and a sister, and, and my parents, and um, you know, we, I had to like drag them over to the, the other side of the world, wow. and um, but we're all we're all settled in now, and it's been, you know, it's been an awesome experience for all of us, and I think like brought us even closer. So. Oh, yeah. cool. Now you share the same manager as Justin Bieber, Scooter mm -hmm. Braun. So are you hoping that he's going to steer your career in the same direction as Justin's? Um, I mean, like, I think everyone has their own story, mm. you know, and, um, like, I don't want to follow, like, in anyone's footsteps. I want to carve my own path. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, I think it's important for, for every artist to be unique, and I want to do my best to kind of establish my own, you know, my own image and Brand, sound and, yeah. and uh, just be just be me, so, yeah. Cool, but what's Scooter like as a manager? Is he cool? Yeah, he's very cool. Yeah, yeah. cool. So let's talk about Wish You Were Here. Now, okay. we've got a good story about this track. Yeah. Now, um, whilst on a holiday, the manager of this channel heard that track, and when he came back to the UK, he got in touch with people from an Australian music channel, and they sent us the video over. And since we got the video, we've been hammering it non-stop, which yeah. is, you know, it's a pretty big deal, isn't it? Yeah. We tracked down this video, we started hammering it, but the only thing is, it's had no UK release date yet. So what's sort of going on there with your stuff here? Um, oh, well, I mean, I'm not really sure. I mean, it's like my first time here yeah. and, and I've just, you know, I've done some, some pretty insane shows and, you know, just got a ton of fans here. So we really wanted to come over and, and share the love and, and do some performances. But as far as music goes, I mean, I, I couldn't, I mean, it's out, the album's out here and now, so, uh, yeah. So let's talk about the album. It's called Paradise, yeah, as you mentioned. It's, it's out, it's called Paradise. It's out worldwide, but for people who haven't yet got the album here in the UK, why do you think they should get it? Um, I mean, I think they should get it because I, um, I want them to feel like they're in paradise when they're listening mm. to it. That was my goal with, with creating the album. And, um, you know, I just, there's a lot of really cool, um, cool songs in there. It's a very, very cool vibe. It's very, um, almost like Australian, if that yeah. makes any sense. Very chill. Um, um, but uh, I just think it's something that, you know, not only my fans will like when they listen to it, but I feel like everyone will like it, you know, when they hear it. So, uh, yeah. Check it, it, it. Check, it it. Check, Check it out if you haven't it. Check it out. Check it out if you haven't heard it yet. Um, now, it's amazing that you haven't yet released any singles here in the UK, but you've managed to sell out your own headline tour here. How does that feel? It feels good, eh? Like, I just, it's my first time here in the UK and, and to know that I already have like so many fans here that were waiting for me to come and, and you know, it's, you know, selling out places like uh, the Indigo and um, here in London, um, which is like 3,000 people. It's my first time. It's kind of you know, mind blowing to me because, you know, over in the US, like I started small and kind of, um, you know, got to that level. Right. But like here, it's like, it's just all of a sudden, like straight up, 
there's so many fans. So it's just die hard like, fans. Yeah, it's, it's incredible to yeah. see. Yeah. Now, as you mentioned earlier, it's your first time here in the UK. Yeah. So what's it been like being here? It's been great. Like I love seeing new places and I love traveling. I love meeting new people. I love hearing different accents and experiencing new cultures and stuff. So uh, I've just been having a blast here and just meeting so many new fans. And you know, it's they're very enthusiastic here to say the least. I yeah. Think, so. Definitely. Um, now, your tour has taken you all over the country, so have you had any time to do any touristy things while you've been here? Um, a little bit, not as much as I would have liked to, but we have a couple of days here in London where I think we're going to go do some touristy things with my family and stuff. And um, we're going to be, we're traveling like all around um, Europe actually, so hopefully we'll get some days off here and there. But you know, a lot of it is really like, Hotel to the concert. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what are there any like main things that you want to do whilst you're in London? Touristy things? Um, I mean obviously like all of the uh, my little brother really wants to go to like the Harry Potter play yeah. the world, yeah. uh, tour or something like that. Yeah, and that's cool. I mean I just want to do all like the you know the Go on the red bus, yeah, the London yeah, those Eye, things. Buckingham Palace, exactly. sort of stuff. And you've got your sister here as well. I'm sure she wants to hit the shops yeah, here sure. in London, doesn't for she? Yeah, for sure. She went to the mall today, actually. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Did you help her with her bags? Uh, she didn't buy too much, so <laughs> I just I made her carry it anyway. Oh, aren't you nice, Cody? <laughs> big brothers, well, big brothers are four, eh? There we go. Now, living up to true Aussie stereotypes, we know you're a keen surfer. Yeah. So, have you discovered any hot spots here in the UK where you can go and do your thing? Oh, uh, no, I actually oh. haven't. I don't think I've had time to. Oh, so, no. Yeah. Maybe yeah. next time. Yeah. Maybe get a next surfboard time. And yeah, for sure. Go down to Nuki or something. Now, as well as selling out your own solo tour, you're also supporting the one and only Justin Bieber on his European tour here. So, what's that been like? It's been great. It's been awesome. The shows have been big and I've been um, making new fans every night. So I uh, just, you know, I love being able to go out there and, and I have, you know, obviously, um, you know, a lot of fans there, but, you know, some people that, you know, meant be familiar with me and, mm. and making them fans by the end of the show, like that's, that's always a goal of mine. So, yeah, it's just been a great opportunity for me and cool experience too, so. Oh, nice. And you get your fans on stage, don't you? You pick a fan out. Yeah, I do that. In my headlining shows, I bring a girl up on stage. So. Oh, that's cool. I like to do that. It's yeah. yeah, special. Very special. Um, now, Carly Rae Jepsen is also supporting Justin Bieber on tour. So do you, go, do you Carly, and Bieber hang out and have some downtime when you're not sort of playing shows? Uh, I mean, not really that all together. Um, it's because, like, I'm sort of like schedules are just collide all, all the time but um I perform with Carly actually I go out and do her song uh good it's time good time, a good yeah, time. Yeah. yeah I've heard I go it. it's good that. yeah it's a good song so I go, I go out and do that with her so it's always a good time hey yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there I like it um well good luck with the rest of the year Thank you so what much. are your goals by the end of 2013 what would you oh, like to achieve well I'm, I'm working on a um a follow-up album to nice. paradise which is um it's really going to be even a lot better so I'm um, pretty stoked about that excited for my fans to hear the new music and as long as I keep growing as an artist and um, you know become a better artist and a better person you know, every day then you know, that's kind of all, all I care about you know what I mean so, cool well yeah. Cody do not forget that we were the first UK music station to play your videos know, thank you very much well, by the you're way. more than welcome Thanks. so when you become super mahusive you need to make sure you what come that? back Mah mahusive huge okay. <laughs> I'll use that. Yeah, so when you become super huge, make sure you come back and chat For to sure. us again. Anytime. Yeah? Oh, Anytime. nice one.